I'm gonna show you guys something truly amazing about this coin right here. This 10 ounce silver 2016 Australian Kookaburra. I'm gonna show you guys something so unbelievable that it should put your mind to rest about whether stacking physical silver is beneficial for you or not. Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. All right, so as far as I see it, stacking physical silver boils down to just two basic reasons. Either you want physical silver to increase your wealth or you want physical silver to preserve your wealth. Now, if your reasons are to increase your wealth, at least in the short term, I believe you're gonna be disappointed most of the time with physical silver. We talked about that in other videos. However, if you want to preserve and protect your hard-earned wealth, then physical silver, in my opinion, can do that very well. So let's talk about this 10 ounce silver Australian kookaburra. And I'll show you just how stocking physical silver for the long term is a hedge against inflation. And I'm gonna show you through personal example here. And it's not by increasing your wealth, so to speak, but by protecting your buying power for the future. Okay, so this is a 2016 Australian Kookaburra. Now this particular silver coin here, this 10 ounce silver coin has a sentimental value to me because my wife bought me this for Christmas in 2016. She bought me this to kind of let me know that she's on board with our stacking. And this was her way to show me, okay, yes, I'm on board. So she bought me this for Christmas. Now she paid, and I know exactly how much she paid, and I'll tell you why here in a second, but she paid $175 for this in 2016 around Christmas. Now I don't know exact time she bought it, but she bought it in December, and it was my Christmas present. Now she paid $175 for this. Now I know it was $175 because when she told me how much she paid, this exact same coin that she bought from, I don't know where, but she didn't buy from AppMax, was on AppMax for 165. And I took her online and I showed her that, that you gotta be a little, you know, shop around a little bit more and don't buy just the first thing that you see because all silver has different premiums. Anyway, the point I'm making here is, this was bought for 175 in 2016. I'm going to go on eBay. Now I know eBay is not the place where a lot of people buy physical silver, but a lot of people do buy physical silver on eBay. And if you look here, this exact same coin sold because that's what this green price means that somebody paid that for $330, $330 for this 10 ounce coin here that my wife spent $175 for is now worth $330 on eBay, $330. Now I'll just let you know, this is not the only 10 ounce coin that I bought in 2016. Far from it. Bought a lot of silver in 2016. Bought a lot of silver in 2017. Bought a lot of silver in 2018. I mean, you see where I'm going? So by buying this coin right here in 2016, for 175, I can sell it now for $330, which is a profit. But I'm gonna tell you something that may surprise you. That is not that important to me. If you could understand what I expect my silver to do for me, then it would be a little bit easier to accept what I just said. For me, it's volume over price. It's ounces over how much it costs me to get them. And as strange and as counterintuitive as this sounds, if I want 500 ounces, I'm going to budget for 500 ounces and I'm going to spend what it costs to get those ounces. No matter where the premiums go, no matter where spot price goes, no matter how much, 
it cost me to get those ounces because to me, having the physical silver is more important than what I'm paying to get it now because my plans for the future deals with volume of silver, not how much it costs me to stack it. I am putting money away. I have retirement products that I believe are going to help me tremendously when I retire. Having that silver and being able to put that silver in my stack the way that I have been doing gives me such a psychological contentment of security that it's worth what it costs to get that. Now, a lot of people listening to me will probably not understand that. Maybe never will understand that. But the example that I just gave you with this kookaburra shows for me, I'm on the right track. Silver is working for me. Being able to stack it at the level that I've been able to stack it at works for me. The examples that I give you are examples of how silver is a positive. There is some sacrifice. It took a lot of trial and error to get my budget to where I can stack at the level I'm stacking. Because in my mind, psychologically, I see a goal where my silver is going to add so much to my retirement that it's worth the sacrifice today to get it. That's my own personal opinion. I don't expect you to agree with it. It'd be great if you did. I'm just giving you an example of how it works for me. And if any of this is attractive to you, then you can do the same thing but it's gonna take some work. You have to budget for it. You have to make it work for you, but I'm just showing you that it can. I'm not here to you know, influence you at all. I'm not here to try to sway you in any direction or the other. All I'm doing is just trying to give you something more to think about. Some other voice to all the other voices that are in the Silverstein community that are giving you their opinion and their point of view on physical silver. And that's it. All right. Well, if you will allow me, I'll just uh, switch gears here a little bit and just uh, come at you on a, on a personal note. Um, those of you who do not make YouTube content or silver stacking content, I just want to tell you guys something. It is extremely difficult to come up with fresh ideas <laughs> for um, subject matter for my channel. Now, I know I see a lot of the content providers in YouTube and they're talking about pretty much the same kind of thing. Even if the subject is a little different, it's always kind of the same thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Their channels are doing fantastic. They're doing very well. So there is an audience for that. I kind of don't want my channel to be that. I don't want to show you guys the same things over and over again, just, you know, a different opinion. But it seems like that's where my channels kind of fell into that. Okay, so having said that, and if you're still with me, I waited till now to let you guys know that this video and maybe two more videos will be the end of the Silver Joker channel on a regular posting basis. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring the silver train into the station. Not saying that you need to depart the silver train. We're going to be rolling some more. It's just that you just won't be hearing the silver joker's voice, <laughs> so to speak. You know, you never know. I might pop up a video here and there. So stay subscribed. It doesn't cost you anything to stay subscribed. I don't benefit at all from you staying subscribed. Uh, it just keeps that line of communication open just in case down the road, I, something that comes up that I really want to share with you guys. So I will po be posting every now and then, but on a regular basis, I will not be. Uh, I kind of gambled with the storyboard animation. I made a lot of those over the time that I was absent. I uh, put a lot of time and effort into those and you guys just did not, did not like them too. <laughs> so it was a gamble. It didn't pay off, but that's okay. You know, it happens. So I got a lot of those still that I'm just going to go ahead and can. I think I might show one or two more on a Thursday, but then after that, I think um, the Silver Joker is going to hang up his microphone and we'll just, I'm going to be a passenger on the Silver Train and not the conductor anymore. I mean, we'll still be riding. We'll still be collecting that silver and taking care of our financial future with physical silver. Anyway, I appreciate all the love that you guys have shown me over the years. 
I think I've tried to stay as neutral as I can as far as the information. I think I've gone as far as I can go with giving you guys information about physical silver. But I will ask you this. If you want to hear my politics, if you want to hear me tell you guys where I stand on certain issues, leave it in the comments. But I will tell you, it will not be the Silver Joker channel. I will not disguise a political discussion with silver. I have lots to say <laughs> about politics. I got a lot of opinions about where I think this economy is. And I think it will surprise many of you where I stand on a lot of things. I think it'll surprise you. Matter of fact, I'm almost certain it will surprise many of you, but I won't do it here on the Silver Joker channel. But anyway, I appreciate the ride that we've been on. I appreciate the love that you guys have shown me over the years. And you never know. You never know where the Silver Joker might pop up. So anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.